Dear friends, we use electronic devices like mobiles, laptops, televisions and sound systems every day. The only thing used for sound in all these devices is a speaker. The invention of the speaker is credited to Alexander Graham Bell who invented the speaker in 1876. We use speakers so much in our daily life that we don't even realize importance of this great invention. Do you know how a speaker works? Let's understand it. First of all, look at what is in my hand. I have a metal wire in my hand. And the other thing is something round in my hand. You can take any round object for this purpose. Let's start wrapping this wire around this pen so that we can make a coil from this wire. I wrap the wire around this pin. Take the coil according to Anid. I take the wire after applying glue to it so that it does not get damaged later. Look, this is a simple copper coil in my hand and there is nothing in it. And these are two wires of the coil. Inside these two wires are sound signals. If I put these wires to the coil, we will not hear any sound. Although it makes a sound, it is so low that it is unheard of for us. In fact, when an electric current flows through the coil, it creates a magnetic field. Because the earth itself is a huge magnet. Therefore, the magnetic field of the coil acts on the magnetic field of the earth and produces vibration which produces sound. Let's make first changes to improve this system. See what is in my hand now. I have an iron nut in my hand. Let's put it in the middle of this coil. Now the sound is louder than before. This voice is audible to us. But it is too little for human hearing. Let's hear this sound with the help of a stethoscope. I place this system on the diaphragm of a stethoscope. At the other end I put it in your ears. I mean, I attach it with the mic. Do you hear the sound? Great. Let's make second change to improve this system. Now look, I have something different in my hand. This is a magnet in my hand. Let's take this magnet to the coil and attach it to the iron rod. Let's see what changes. Now the sound is so loud and we can hear it clearly without any help. Now go one step further. Increase the magnetic force even more by attaching one more magnet to it. Now watch again. Now the sound is louder than before. Now let's make the third better change. Look, this is a simple piece of paper. A hole in the middle of the paper. Let's attach this paper to the coil. We put it on top of the coil. Great. Sounds very good quality. It's a pleasant sound. Conclusion. There is only one metal wire coil inside a speaker. In the middle of which is placed an iron rod. A magnetic field is created around the coil with the help of a magnet. And the coil is attached to a piece of paper to make the sound louder. All these changes are for the better. Otherwise, the speaker was made only when the coil was made. We tried to make it easy for you. Please like the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.